Carsados gets rid of it. That's up for grabs. Oh, it's oh. caught in. There's Chris Carter with that 38-inch vertical leap. That's exactly what I was talking about. He was covered well. The ball was thrown up. This time he had a chance to go up and take it away. I've seen him do it I don't know how many times. That's why he has 27 career touchdowns. And you see right here, Carsados does a good job of avoiding getting sacked. Throws the ball off balance. Now watch Carter. As he goes up, look at his hands above both defenders. Flowers number 15 there and Carrington, both of them shorter than Carter. Johnny Holland, number 11 from the inside, didn't get to Carsados in time. First, hey. There's Chris Carter right here as he'll come down and weave right in between these two. But the important thing is Carsados here was able to avoid getting sacked. He's getting a lot of pressure right there. Holland the last one. There it is between the two defenders and watch him go up and get it. But Arrow, what I didn't like, though, was the play-action fake again. It didn't give Carsados really enough time. He had to scramble up into the pocket. How about the results? I like the results. <laughs> I like the results. First and 15, 2.20 to go. First quarter, 3-0, A&M leads. Quick pitch out to the right side. Nate Harris makes the grab. But uh, that's just a gain of a couple. Jimmy Carsados uh, just graduated December 12th from Ohio State. Graduated with a degree in communications, as a matter of fact. Says he's going to take a vacation in Acapulco after this game and then either play pro ball or try and find a job in this goofy business. <laughs> I hope he comes back from Acapulco. i tell you what, you can stay down there for a while. Yeah, that's right. Carsados is one of four Ohio State seniors who graduated in the fall, so he's an alumnus. He's got a right to criticize the coach. We got Carter singled here. Second down, Carsados. Screen pass, left side. Nicely set up. George Cooper, the fullback for the AM 46. Vern, you made a good comment there. It was beautifully set up, but the blocking didn't take place. Cooper did do a nice job of running. You see Cooper number 44 slide out. Carsados looks it off very nicely. It looks like a screen to the right. Then he turns back. Nice blocking. Uh, there's Mags number 71. He does do a job of getting the block. And finally, Cooper is brought down in there by Kell number 65. You know, in the Ohio State offense, using George Cooper, the fullback, I think is a very good ploy because he's a man that's often overlooked. That's right. They don't give him the ball very often. Now a double tight end set up on third down and two for Ohio State. John Hutchinson, the extra tight end, is in motion. They'll come right, cut back left. Workman, first down at the 39. Nifty little move. Oh, he, Eric, he did a really nice job of once he got past the line of scrimmage and cut back. That was very good eyes by Workman. I tell you, he's an underrated running back. The last three games that he played in, he had over 100 yards. That includes the University of Michigan with that big 46-yarder. And against Wisconsin, he had 170-some yards. You can see that he's an almost a 1,000-yard getter also. Had problems earlier this year fumbling and was benched for Jim Bryant. He started out the season operating with uh, John Woolridge, alternating, rather. And Woolridge went out with an knee injury against Alabama. Here's Carsados looking deep and firing that way. And he's got a man oh, wide open. Jamie Holland, who's got super speed. A senior who hadn't lettered until this year. Holland has run a 10.2800 meters. He's right here and he just speeds right down the slot. Got him off the field there. Right, right down the sideline to get him back in the ball game here. But anyway, you'll see the speed as he runs right by the corner. Oh, he's by him right now. He's wide open. Carsado sees it. Boom, he hits him almost under thrown. 38-yard pass, first and goal. And the double tight end set up now for Ohio State. And the first quarter is going to come to a close prior to the snap of the play. Jamie Holland, just a squad man from Wake Forest, North Carolina. That is a 38-yard gain to give the Buckeyes a first and goal. And we'll be right back after this message and a word from your local station. Texas for the 51st annual Cotton Bowl Classic. The Aggies lead 3-0, but A&M now in trouble as we look at the last Ohio State play, Pat. Here's what happened. Here is Jamie Holland. He is receiver. Now, these two men are going to cover him inside and outside. But when he takes off, the tight end runs this route up here. The safety gets attracted by him, 
falls in. That leaves Holland open for the big play. So the key here is the play of the safety. Watch him react. He steps right there for the tight end, and then it clears Holland for the big play right there. 38-yard gain to the one. Ohio State has the ball. First and goal. Trailing by three. Vern Lundquist, Pat Hayden, Eric Parsegian, Pat O'Brien, and Jim Nance will be along at halftime. Back and down. Jim Bryant is in the lineup now. Number 41, straight T. Look for the option here. Option play. Carsados. Nice decision by Carsados. Touchdown, Ohio State. That's a nice play. Well, you take a look at Jim Carsados. He's the last guy you'd expect to be running the option. No, he has run the option the last two years uh, from open formations, not so much in the close formation, but the goal line and short yardage attack, he will go ahead and run it as well. Garcados gets the touchdown, and Matt France is on for the extra point. It's good, and the passing of Jim Carsados puts them in position for the touchdown. He is 6 of 9 now for 143. Look at the option play with Carsados scoring. Watch him draw the linebacker's attention as he pulls, gives the ball to Cooper, appears to, then keeps it. Now he comes down the line. Might or might not deal it off. Harrington runs by it, number 10. And, of course, Carsada steps inside of it for the score. Terrific drive put together by Ohio State. 80 yards and nine plays. The big play was a pass to Chris Carter on a third and 17, and then the toss to Jamie Holland. 